All right, with that uh, cursed giant dead, we're gonna continue with our main quest now. All right, let's uh, let's check out the world map for the area first, though. Dulcina's windmill. Looks like we got a bunch of notice boards scattered around. Uh, some boat areas. A town. I wonder if that's the capital? Looks like it probably is. Alright. Come on, Roach. One of the things I like about Witcher 3 is that when you're following somebody, they'll go at your speed, so Brave you don't kid, constantly Guillaume. have to stop. Barmerin oversaw his upbringing. Guillaume is his kid. Get used to the way you knights talk, especially how you switch back and forth between flowery and, well, near normal. We are knights and service of her gracious magnificence. When we appear in her name or speak on her behalf, we are bound by tradition. No one here. They must have removed the body already. Let's look around, make sure they didn't miss anything. Use my witcher senses to search the riverbank. Such good fortune you found us. Uh, took me a while to remember the Witcher Senses button. Here we go. Hobnailed boots, multiple sets of prints. Ducal guard, clearly. Let's see where they went. Very important, but first... Even more important is looting things. Well, also lighting things on fire. Also very important. All right, let's continue on. Walked along the shoreline. Perhaps the body lay on the bank. One of the things I really like about this game is the kind of investigation, the investigation uh, aspects of it. It really does make you feel like you're a witcher tracking prey. Got guests. Careful. Avoid those guys, but they're okay. Drawn here by the smell of blood. Let's keep looking. Those are a new breed of rock fiend that I've seen. We'll keep looking as soon as I loot. Okay, we're good. Few of the characters in this game understand the importance of looting things. Well, more for me. Anything taken by the current ends up in these shallows. Yes, the stench is fierce. blood-soaked scraps left of the victim's clothing. Good quality cloth. A wealthy victim, correct? Looks it. Blood. 
Guardsmen pulled these nets out of the water, then cut the mutilated body free. Search the nets. Gonna please. dive in. Make sure they didn't miss anything. Really? Okay. Wait. Hold on one second. There's something else I could examine. This thing. Nets were attached here. Oh, okay. Well, that wasn't really worth it. That's always worth it. Handkerchief. Silk kerchief. Monogrammed DLC. A noble's accessory, clearly. Need to comb the bank. <laughs> DLC, huh? Somebody over in Poland was getting bored, I guess. Only blood-soaked scraps left of the victim's clothing. Good quality cloth. A wealthy victim, correct? Looks it. Blood. Guardsmen pulled these nets out of the water, then cut the mutilated body free. Let's examine that, uh, <laughs> that clock. Uh, still getting, taking me a while to get used to this new UI. Handkerchief, monogram, DLC. Huh. I guess that's all the description I get. Fair enough. Yeah, it's great that they adjusted the UI, but it still takes forever to load on uh, console. It's unfortunate. Where's my... Yeah, I'm going to take the... Uh... <laughs> I could give him the ass ears. Nah. Hopefully we'll get some, uh, some fun little accessories here. Okay, let's get back to the start. Blood. Guardsmen pulled there these go. nets out of the water, then cut the mutilated body free. Guardsmen must have loaded the body parts onto it, taken them somewhere. Need to find out where. I'd like to look at the corpse before it starts to decompose. The inn. Its patrons must have seen the guardsmen, which direction they took. We should ask there. Seems we've got ourselves an audience. You think this surprising? The locals will tell the children of children they do not have yet, of the day a quartered corpse was pulled from the river. One thing. Found a handkerchief in the water. Monogrammed DLC. Mean anything to you? Delacroix? It cannot be. Was it he the beast slew? Seems so. Knew him well? Long past. We were close friends once, but our paths diverged. He was a man of extremes, standing by his companions, no matter the odds, fighting his foes to the bitter end. Foes? You have a lot of them? He did, but I do not see what that has to do with the beast. Ah, Geralt, you've struck a raw nerve. Memories of a time long past, to which I'd rather not return now. I understand. We can talk later. Let's go to the tavern. I shall have to leave you soon. Return to court. Barely got back to Toussaint. A knight in the service of her illustrious highness knows no rest. In fact, I feared I would return too late to fulfill my duty. Yet it seems I've arrived in the nick of time. Once you have finished examining the corpse, be sure to report to Anarietta. Anarietta? Her Grace, the Duchess. I forget myself at times. We address each other by our first names in private. 
Never in Pomrin's presence, however. He finds such familiarity offensive. Oh. A watering well, hole for well, traders, well, smugglers, well. boatmen. But you will find no better crayfish chowder in all Toussaint. <laughs> One of the knights withdrew from the tourney. They said a huge fan of shellfish. Bravery is not enough Quite against the beast. Scratch and a By my troth, could that be the musty scent of fresh pate? Naught else, Sir de Peyrac Peyron. I see time has not dulled your senses. We would be honored if you would join us. Uh, your companion as well. But why do I not detect even a whiff of crayfish chowder? No soup today, on account of there being no crayfish. I reckon you've not heard, but all I caught was a corpse. I awoke at the crack of dawn, as I do each day, but when I looked up, I beheld a blood-red sky. This corpse is precisely why we're here. For the man whom you've invited to join you at the table was summoned from a far-off land by her gracious magnificence. He is tasked with tracking and killing the beast. We invited two men to join us, yet since Sir de Peyrac Peyron in temperament is more akin to hare than hound, I surmise the other is the hunter. With whom do we have the pleasure? Like Milton said, I've come from the north at the Duchess's behest to deal with the beast. Yes, yes, but who are you? A knight? A mercenary? A soldier? Geralt is a witcher, a master of his trade. He has questions for you about the beast's most recent victim. I was the one to find the corpse. The sun had just risen when I awoke, sat straight up in my bed, looked out the window, He's and really enjoying this uh, notoriety. Blood. Ask Geralt, please, or we shall be here till winter. All right, sky was red. Must have been early in the morning. Went to check your nets and then... I stepped out of my hut and saw... By my troth, to the point, man. You found a body ensnared in your crayfish nets. We know this already. What happened then? Did you see anyone nearby? Did you spy anything noteworthy? Anything at all? Not a soul around, just me. As for noteworthy... Hmm, well... What did you see? But be warned. If I hear the sky was red again, <laughs> I saw a head bobbing, eyes bulging, the tongue blew and popped out. Next to it, a hand rocking upon the water. Get a good look at the body parts? They gave me such a fright. I bolted to town fast as my legs would take me, then returned with guardsmen who told me to keep out of their way. They had a hard haul. The parts were so tangled up in my nets, they were forced to cut them. I'm not really digging the uh, the accents of the voice actors here. Need to examine the body. Know where they took it? They ferried it across, then loaded it on a cart and hauled it to a cellar at Corfo Bianco to keep it cool, see? What? Why, Corfo Bianco is Baron Russell's estate. When he learns they've turned his cellar into a morgue, He'll set his hounds on them. While you were caliphanting about the north, his vineyard was auctioned off. Who was, who was that? Woman who just left. Didn't see her before. Didn't notice her walk in either. Doubtless Linnis, the innkeep's daughter. But hold, Geralt, because this is an outrage. Rossell's vineyard was auctioned off? Inconceivable. It is no secret the Baron had gambling debts up to his ears. It finally came time to collect. His creditors auctioned off his property. The Ducal Chancellery bought it, in fact. Russell now bunks with his brother in Vicofara. I told Russell he'd get his comeuppance. How long can one throw on past heroics? His creditors must finally have to find that his promises meant nothing. Such are the times. Today's knights are pale shadows of the heroes of yore. It's true what they say. God sent the beast to punish us for straying from the old paths. What do they say about the beast? 
So folk think the beast's divine punishment. Knights have turned their backs on the old customs. Where they were defenders of the duchy, they're now defenders of their own mm. touches. Why, you insolent? Let him talk. The Duchess traits in titles, grants honors to ill to us. We've strayed from the path of virtue, lost the gods' favor, so the gods sent retribution. Don't listen to that nonsense, Geralt. It's rehashed street preacher Codswallop. Yes, the rebel rousers have been sprouting up like weeds lately, each offering the same bill of goods. They say anything else about the beast? Besides it being a messenger of the gods. The two Chantois are no fools. They see clearly the beast kills on days honoring patron saints. Picky monster. Thanks for the hospitality. Time I examined the corpse. Covo Bianco lies a short way from here, near the tawny grounds. Just follow the road and you'll arrive. Not coming with? Oh yeah, duty of some sort calls. Some sort? <laughs> Her grace bestowed a great honor on me, even before we departed for Velen. I'm to play the hare during this year's game in the palace gardens. When you see me in my costume, you will wet yourself laughing. A little tempted to ask a few questions, but it sounds like a long, complicated story. One involving lengthy digressions into local history and tradition. So, see you later, Milton, and good luck. <laughs> this is too complicated, so bye. One. Godfried and the Cheeseboard Knight. Go to Cor Corvo Bianco and examine the body. Oh boy. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll read that some other time. First, let's uh, let's talk to the innkeeper, just in case there might be new Gwent cards. Normally, I'd encourage you to try our famed fisherman's chowder, but alas, we are all out of crayfish. Could replace them with something else. Perch, for example. Replace crayfish with fish? I beg you. What next? Vinegar for wine? Parsley for thyme? Huh? I you prefer some things are a pleasant lot, but about cuisine, right. you know nothing. Let's show me what you got first. Show me what you got if in You got stock. a Gwent card. Then I am all ears. You do not appear to have any Gwent cards. Chicken liver pate. Looks like a pizza, but I don't know. I'm not culinarily uh, inclined myself. Got some liquor, no going cards. Oh wait, that's just the food inventory. Got any gossip? Fisherman talking about anything interesting? Yes, about a Nortling who would replace crayfish with pike. Oh my god, that's let it go. A serious question. Hmm, and the tactless one. I do not if stroke on my clients, and I certainly don't repeat anything I chance to hear. What if I beat you at Gwent? Not likely to taste your famous. I like how the innkeepers just nod. Everybody just nods when you ask to play Gwent. Uh, what do I got on here anyway? I got a clear. I don't have my Scorch cards out there. All right, we'll add a couple of Scorch cards. And the Frost card. I hate going first. It's like in chess, man. It looks like they adjusted the uh, the Gwent banners too. The Gwent cards have a little banner on them now. gonna sit here in a mass car, it's both of us.
Whoa. Yeah, oh, he made it a berserker. That's kind of cool. Alright, I'll pass this first round. Yeah, say goodbye to your, uh, your troops. like it'll have to be one of the... Oh, I can use the Triss card. That looks like I've got a good selection of cards uh, to go up against him. Oh, I guess it dug out a card from the discard pile. The Skele deck, the Skele deck looks pretty interesting. Yeah, keep it up. And do this all day. I'm just sitting here trying to uh, make him burn off his cards. Oh, shipboard artillery, that's interesting. Right, what do we got here? He's done. Got him. There we go. I got a special cutscene for being the innkeeper. Message on the back, signed by a certain Count Monnier. Invitation to a tournament. Interesting. Gwent. To everything, turn, turn, tournament. <laughs> we're gonna, next time when we come back, we're gonna start uh, pulling quests Night off the notice board. Night. And continuing on with the uh, with the adventure when we've got time between quests. So until then, guys, I'll see you next time.